Hello. How is everybody? <clears throat> I'm going to wait just a minute or two, but I, our group is small here and I've stopped doing my lives in my regular Facebook page. I'm doing my lives here. So it takes, um, a little longer for people to see the notification for some reason. I'm watching my husband, so if you know who I am at all, you know my husband has Parkinson's and Lewy body disease with dementia, so I have him on camera here so I can even do this. Hopefully, I won't have to get up, jump up and down. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started, and uh, if you get here late, no problem. You can just watch the replay. I do that a lot. Today's products are going to be a mixture of Faberlic and a mixture of Transcend. Uh, and if you go through my uh, little pet, my little group here, there's all kinds of stuff about both those, both those things. So I'm just going to use a mixture, like I said. Oh dear. Already got junk on me. Mm -mm -mm. Anywho, hello, hello. All right, so I'm also blind as a bat, so I can't really see very well, so just be patient with me. If I miss your comments here live, I will definitely answer you in the replay, okay? So first thing I'm going to do, don't get up, John, please, is I'm going to use some micellar water, and guess what I discovered? I discovered, this is uh, Fabrique micellar water. I'm a firm believer in micellar water. Uh, they, Fabrique has got my cellar uh, bath, a shower gel. I've, I've got that ordered today. They've also got my cellar water for uh, problem skin. They've got my cellar water for oily skin, sensitive skin. This is just normal my cellar. This is Oxiology my cellar, and it is called Osh Oxygen Stream My Cellar Lotion. I love that stuff. So let's go ahead and do this. I use this all the time. My cellar water is a must. I did, a, in fact, I did a little video just on my cellar water the other day, and told you all the ins and the outs. Yeah, I'm just gonna go over. It's so refreshing. It gets, believe it or not, you go to bed, you wash your face, you go to bed, and you think, oh. I'm clean when I wake up, right? You'd be surprised what you get off your face when you wake up. Hello, hello, whoever you are. I see something that I can't tell who it is. Yet. Yeah. And this micellar is so refreshing. And look, see, my face was clean. Look at that. Can you see that? It looks worse than that. Sheesh. So don't think your face is clean. Use micellar, whatever you do. All the time. Okay. Now, let me see who's here. I saw somebody. Now I'm going to do some toner. Nope. Nobody's here. I don't see anything. Hello. So we're just going to do a toner now. This is also Oceanology. Toner. I love this concept. So we're just going to balance my pH. We're going to refresh toner. Let's see what the proper name is, okay? It is called Oxygen Respiration Gentle Face Tonic. Okay. Here we go. There is an order to doing your skincare. There is an order. You wash your face first. Then you want to use your tonics or your sprays or, you know, what I'm doing right now. Then you want to use your serums or your oils or whatever you do after that. <laughs> so good. Hello, hello, hello. And you can't watch one of my lives without me forgetting to do the cotton picking notification. <laughs> They're always on. So now I'm going to use my Global Oxygen Eye Cream, which is special. You know, I'm still learning about everything, so a lot of things I still have to just read. This is the eye cream, and there is a technique to any kind of eye cream, and I like to put my eye cream on. I forgot my serum. 
crud. Okay, well, we'll just go ahead and do the eyes. <laughs> there is a reason, like you've heard me say before, the molecules in moisturizers and stuff is a lot larger than your eye cream molecules. So that's why you want to do your, your eye cream before you do your moisturizer. But I did forget my... I gotta practice what I preach, huh? I did forget my serum. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna massage that in. Feels so good. And then you want to take your weak fingers and you wanna tap it. That stimulates the blood flow. It also stimulates the product. Just very gently. You can do this as long as you want to. I just do it a few minutes, especially since I'm on a live. And I want to remind you there is blood flow right through here. So this that's another reason to tap it. Here is the serum I'm going to use. This is mesotherapy. My oxyology <laughs> mesotherapy. This supposedly is compared to what you would get in the doctor's office only through injections. We don't want to do injections. No. So we're going to do some mesotherapy cream. If you want to know anything about any of these beautiful products, don't hesitate to ask. For the sake of time, I'm just going to zip right along. So if you have questions, don't hesitate. Okay? I would like to know if people... if is people is people are you getting notifications that I'm that I'm going live do I need to do anything about that or are you the one that's supposed to do you have to check something like if you want to know if somebody's going live or not that's what this is this is a uh, Fabrileek let's see everything I've done so far has been Fabrileek Fabrileek this is I uh, so this is uh, uh, some skincare uh, stuff from like Korea, and you know the beautiful Asian women they have such they have just stunning, perfect skin. So this is called ISO, and it's called it's a hyaluronic gel aloe vera. Now this stuff the other night you can use it as a mask. I just slathered it on, left it on for I don't know 20 minutes or so. And then you wash it off. Or you can just use it like I'm about to use it, like a moisturizer. It smells heavenly. It smells good enough to eat, but don't. <laughs> I just took a little bit off the lid. This thing will last a long time. It is heavenly. It's the hyaluronic. I have got, I don't know how I ended it with so many. Whoops. So many different um, moisturizers, but guys, I've got moisturizer. I'm never going to run out of moisturizer. At my age, I don't need to run out either. So I'm just smoothing this in. And so far, all this stuff that I'm using can be used twice a day. There's all kinds. This is going to be one of my favorites. Look at this. In fact, I could probably do it too. I've got the Oceology Daytime Nighttime Moisturizer, but check this out. This is another one of those I sold, and it is called Water Drop Moisturizer. But do you know what it's? It is snail mucin. Does that mean snail mucus? I don't know. I need to investigate it, but I had to get it and try it, so I'll show you. It's just a nice little, it's not sticky. <laughs> No. Listen, by the time I get through, I'm going to look like I'm 20 years old with all these moisturizers. As you can see, I'm not using tons of stuff. There we go. Now I'll smooth that in. And you do not have to do all of this stuff. But, you know, by no means do you have to do all this stuff. But ain't it fun? <laughs> I think it's fun. I've got more stuff coming. Oh. <gasps> Fabrique and Transcend, you are oh, an answer to my prayers. You are my therapy. Yeah. Now, here is a Transcend product. This is a primer, beautiful primer. 
I've got several primers too. This is another primer. And then this is a, these are a Transin, and here is a Fabrilique tri, uh, primer. It's called Blur. It's beautiful. And this one I haven't used yet, but we're going to. But I'm going to use, it's called Hydrating Foundation Primer with Hyaluronic Acid and Glycerin. Listen, when you get my age, you need to replenish your hyaluronic acid because, listen, I think when you, some say in your late 20s, some say in your 30s, that's when you start losing all your natural hyaluronic. Hyaluronic is what is in your skin that keeps your skin moist. You start losing it, and then I have a little lesson about, about the skin and hyaluronic and stuff somewhere, but... Oh, that feels so good. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, that hyaluronic. Yeah, hyaluronic can hold a thousand times its weight in moisture. And we start losing it so early. It's good to put on the back of your hands. Don't, don't neglect your hands. In the real world, I would, you know, sit for a few minutes and, and let all this kind of... Um, let it all kind of soak in, but I am going to go right home, go right ahead and move on a little bit. So here is, hang on a second. This is called, this is a Fabulite product. It's called a eye filler, and with consistent use is when you can tell the most, uh, the best results from this is using it consistently, and I, I need to just kind of tap it here and I don't have too many you know I don't have too many wrinkles here but I do have a big smiling wrinkle and this down here yuck now nothing I can really do about it I am 74 I like to remind people that I'm not trying to look 24 anymore but you know I don't want to look 74 I'm going to put a concealer over here too, but we're going to clean it up and tap it in. We want to use it consistently. Oh wait, I forgot something. This right here, we want to fill this right here, right? I got some frowny, muscle, uh, frowny wrinkles right here. Okay, that is a Fabrilique filler. Mucho. Now we're going to tap that in with a brush. I'm going to use a brush. I could use a little sponge bud. But we're going to use a brush if I can find. This is a concealer brush, so we'll use it. And I'm going to tap it. Guys, sprinkle me out there. Especially if you know someone. It's older, and maybe your aunt, your mother, whoever you think would have fun with some makeup, and they think they tell you, "Oh, I'm too old for that." Well, you just show them, shoot them my way. I don't know. I might be too old too, but you know what? I'm having fun with it. And once you get old enough, you can do what you want to, mostly. And my life has been turned upside down the last year and a half. So makeup is my therapy. So I do sell it. I mean, after all, I do want to make money too, right? And you know, this is such a new thing for me right here. I don't even know if I'm supposed to let it dry or what. I got some investigating to do. It doesn't, believe it or not, even though... I'm putting it in these wrinkles. It doesn't, you know how you see foundation and stuff in people's wrinkles? I don't see it in here. And you saw how much I put on. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, now we will do some concealer. This is also a Fabrilite product. Some people put their concealer on before. Some people put it on after their foundation. So whatever suits your little, whatever. So we're going to try to conceal a little bit of this little dark shadow I've got right here. See that right there? Yeah. I will also post this video on my YouTube. My YouTube is Glam Memo. 
So let's see if I'm supposed to do this right here. And down here. And this, let me tell you, whenever you start aging, everything falls south. I mean, everything falls south. <laughs> so that's, that's what all this is about. See the little jowls right here? Maybe we'll conceal that a little bit with some contour. I don't do that very often, so I'll have to hunt up my contour. You notice I'm tapping this also. Okay. I want to be very careful, ladies, right in here. This is the most tender area of your whole body and the thinnest skin right there. So don't be pulling and tugging. I know I see a lot of girls will do this. They'll do this to do their eyeliner. You'll be sorry you did that when you get my age. Don't, don't do it. Now, my foundation I'm going to use today is going to be a stick foundation from uh, Transcend. where Bella went. My precious baby. I don't know where she went. My little dog. Sometimes I feel like I need extra coffee, but I don't want to drink it too late, you know? Okay. Hello, everybody. Now, here is my foundation that I've discovered from Transcend. This is in the color Natural, and I, you wouldn't think that a stick foundation would be very, you know, good coverage-wise, but watch this. This is a perfect match for me color-wise. You just draw it all over your face. Obviously, I'm not going to do it on my eyes because I don't want to waste my product because I'm going to put primers and shadows and all that. This is so creamy. Mm. And it's good coverage, too. And I'm going to blend it. This is, five, uh, this is Transcend Stick Foundation. Watch. When I use a bud, you can use a brush or you can use, you know, this. This is dry. I don't use them wet usually. The main reason I don't use them wet is because I'm never close to my water. <laughs> Unless I just bring some to my table. So I will press and twist. Press and twist. It's a technique I learned from a, who was it? Makeup artist. Press and twist. Just like so. Wish I had some place to go. I ain't got no place to go. This is so close to my natural color that I don't really have to worry about doing, you know, blending all that in, but I do it anyway out of habit. This is a great foundation. If you're in a hurry, just slap it on and go. You know, you don't have to take as much trouble as I'm doing right now. I'm just showing off now. Okay, look at there. Now what am I going to do? And now would be the time you could do highlighters or I'm not going to do a highlighter. What did I say I was going to do though? I did say I was going to, I have a new, I, I have a new primer coming for my eyes. Did I put one out? I tried to put everything out. No, I didn't. 
Uh, got so much stuff. It's unreal. Um, I'll just use this It Cosmetic one. I've had it for, I don't know, ever. <laughs> Forever. And we're just, and what do you, you say, what do you do primer for your eyes for? Can't you use your face primer? Well, you could. That would be better than nothing at all. But remember me telling you how thin the tissue was in your eye area? You need something like this is pretty thick, and most primers are pretty thick. But you need something that's going to get into those wrinkles and fine lines up there in that thin tissue area that will hold your it will all little I'll get it out in a minute it will hold your eyeshadows together keep everything in nice nice place okay now I'm going to do a little powder because I'm going to use powder uh, blush I have a cream, but I, I don't use it. For, well, it's actually a liquid. I got it in the in an Ipsy. I only did two Ipsies. <laughs> That's it. Not worth it to me. All right. And why do you do powder over your over your primer to set it to set it. You want to be careful you older ladies with powder you don't want to do it too much you see I didn't dip my brush in my powder but once and I only do it this particular foundation from Transend is actually good enough where you don't even really have to uh, use powder at all the other day I didn't use powder at all I just I just set my you know primer with it but you do not have to do powder but I like powder but you got to be careful again right in there you also start losing your natural glow when you get older so you need to replace it I got a surprise for y'all coming I don't know how long it'll take to get here it could take two weeks I don't know we'll see Buddy is being good. Whoops. It's being good so far. Keep my fingers crossed. He's very, very delicate now. He's actually he's wheelchair bound. So and he still wants to try to get up, which is you know natural. <clears throat> but he should not be getting up. Uh, okay, should I do my brows first or should I do uh, the eyeshadow first? Let's do the eyeshadow first. I am going to use a Fabrilique Glam Team little palette here. It's so cute. I just got this one in. It's so nice. And I'm going to use the um, just the beige for an all over base coat. Now, I say this every time, base coats are not really necessary. It's just I have gotten used to doing them. It's kind of like uh, painting your, getting your canvas ready, you know. If you're going to paint. A lot of times when I'm doing this is when I'm really thinking about what am I going to do next? <laughs> what am I going to do next? So, that's all I'm going to do with that so far. Now... Next, I'm going to use another product. This one is um, Concrete Minerals. This is a yellow. Hi, Tabitha. How are you? This is Concrete Minerals, and it's in a yellow. So I'm going to do some yellows and greens today. Tabitha, I can't see a thing without my glasses on. So if I miss your comments, I'll get on my promise sometime or other. <laughs> So we're just going, these are dry brushes I'm using too. So you all know if you want very bold colors with your normal stuff, you want to use a damp brush. If I'm dampening my brush, I usually use rose water or some kind of setting. You know, just something nice and healthy. So this 
is I love these products. I need to get some more of them. It's those, uh, you know, those monochrome, what do you call those, chrome, where you get several different colors into one, one thing, you know, one shadow. That's what these are, except this one, this one's just the yellow. I forget the name, what's the name of this one? Oh, I can't remember the name of it, and I can't see it without my glasses, so I'll show, I'll tell you in a minute. Thank you for stopping by. Tabitha, did you get a notification that I was live or are you just just checking it out? I want to know if people are getting notified and what do I have to do to get people notified? Or do, do you have to mark that to you want to be notified when I come live? I don't know. Now, Concrete Minerals did suggest couple of ways to prevent fallout is dampening your brush is one way and then another way is tapping it instead of brushing it that will help with fallout so I usually just use a little just a little fan brush you know and just kind of blah 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 like that okay so then the next I'm going to use is a Stella green it's very pretty green two different colors of green shades of green i'm going to start with this lighter one and if i'm not mistaken it's been a while i believe it's got shimmer in it you know i love shimmer all right so here we go this one is the lighter one i will start with it and then i will I'm using the same brush too, I guess you noticed that. If you go light to dark, you can use the same brush. In a minute, I am going to change my brush into one that's a little more um, dense. So I'm going to go up over my hooded eye here with this. I'm not putting any more product just yet because I want to get where I'm going with it first. I'm going to come over here on the crease and go over and then kind of blend that in nice and come on up towards the end of the tail of my brow. This will help camouflage, believe it or not, it will help camouflage my uh, hood. Now, I will use, no, I won't. I'll get a clean brush, talking to myself, and I will blend this green more with the yellow here. Just kind of blur it out a little bit. And then I will also, I'm going to take the darker green. I'm using this brush. It's a pointed, but it's dense. And we're going to meet right here with it and then come down I don't like a space right in this area I like it to be solid and I always put a little more stuff on the outer part of my eye because that makes your eyes look larger I'll show you see you can see already see and Come on over like that. And up on that bone a little more. This will all fall into place shortly. Just like so. Love the shimmer. I got some uh, Faberlic. See the difference? I got some Faberlic uh, samples for perfume. Got some samples of some lipstick. 
They even have, I think, and if you just have to look, there's an online catalog, and if you look on the online catalog, you'll see a little tiny thing down down by down at the bottom that says sample. But I got several perfume samples. You know, it's aggravating to buy a whole perfume and then you get it and it's not what you think. So yeah. And just keep on blending it, working with it. Well, thank you guys for coming by, checking it out to see what's going on in this world over here. Smooth that out. I don't like any sharp lines. I like greens, you know, I like greens. I don't wear it a lot, but I do like it. I think, you know, you don't hear too much about it anymore, but you know how you can have what color you are, winter, spring, summer, whatever. I think I'm a winter, I think. I don't know if that really changed since I got all this gray hair. <laughs> I have got, you know, I struggle with my... Uh, Brows. That's another thing that happens when you get older. Your eyelashes fall out, your brows fall out, everything falls out or falls south, one or the other. <laughs> so, um, and your memory falls south because I'm just having a brain too. I can't remember now what I was going to say. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. I'm going to use a Loose pigment. I think this is a NYX. Oh, I can't see. I can't see. I can't see a thing. Yes, it's a NYX pigment. And it is P-I-G-07. It's really pretty. Do you ever think about using uh, pigments? I never thought about using pigments before. They're nice. Uh-oh. Hope I don't have to get up. Don't get up, John. Stay put. All right, let's put this pigment right smack dab in the middle. To give it a little more pizzazz. After all, I gotta go wash out my trash cans. Gotta have pizzazz for that, right? And I'll put that like that, and then we are also going to use that blender brush. Oh, I was telling you, I have got a, about my brows, I have got a brow stamp coming. Now, I've got some, I'm going to try to use my brow stencil again, but I'm not having real good luck with my stencil system. Yeah, so we're going to try the stamp. I think any of it I'm going to have to play with and work and uh, critique it, you know. I don't think anything is going to be is just like the commercials and stuff. But I am I have ordered today, as a matter of fact, Transcend's uh, Brow Stamp. So that's one of the things we're going to be experimenting with. But I, another thing I've got coming is going to be a surprise. I'm just going to, I'm just going to pop it on you. <laughs> okay, now we'll do the brows. So I have a wonderful Fabrilic, um brow pencil. And I've got a Fabrilic, uh liner. And you know, you've heard me gripe about all the liners I ever use. 
um, ooh, I've got shimmer all over my nose. The liner that I use, liquid liners always bleed. Remember me telling you about this tissue right here? It always, they always want to bleed. I'm just going to sparkle like you would not believe out there to that garbage can. All right, now what am I doing? The brows. Okay, let's get a brow brush and get a brow brush out. Hello. I hope, you know, I announced my live and then I didn't wait. I just came right along. Didn't give anybody really much time. I think I'll use this one. Um, I don't, I'll, I'll show you the pro, I'll show you what it looks like with an eyeliner and without the eyeliner in the tear line, if you've ever done that. And right now we're just going to work on some brows. Like so. Now, I've got a new Faberlic brush. I'm going to use it for my, with my brow powder. It's very, very dense. And I found my old... Where is it? My old stencil. It's actually too thin, but we can fix that. This is a thing I got from Poland. You can put the stencil on and then dap, 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 and then you got a brow, right? Well, I'm struggling with that. Me and stencils are not really getting along very well. So I'm going to see if I can't just kind of... I told you I'm blind. Look at there. <laughs> I'm just going to use it like this and see how I can do my brow with the stencil. I really can't see very well, so I really do like the eyebrow pencil that I've got here from Faberlic. It's really good, it's very thin, and it's really easy to, to draw what you need. So this is just this brow powder, and when I was watching another brow powder, they said, let me show you here, I don't know if I'm not holding the stencil correctly, because you know that matters, and then I'm going to have to touch it up, because out of the whole huge bundle, see that messed up. I have a whole huge bundle of stencils. There was only one that I could really even use, and it really doesn't do too well. So, I'm not going to be one of these that can just block, and it'll be done. I'm going to have to still work with it. So, you know, we can do that. I can do that. We'll touch it up with this pencil I was telling you about. And it's a twist up, which I like. It's more sanitary, I think. Uh, I'm sorry. Not more sanitary, but easier. Now, since I'm not going anywhere, I could actually just do my next brow just with a pencil. Let me tell you, I get the brow powder everywhere. You know, I don't do very well with it. I'm disappointed, too. I want to be like the commercial shows, you know? Also, I like uh, brown mascara. I like that. But for the life of me, I cannot do nice brows like so many of you girls can do. Maybe I don't have patience. Okay, so now I said I'll just use this to draw all my other brows so you can see. As you all can see, my brows are different. This one is much higher and the hairs are like wild 
and I have a heavier hand working this way. So, I usually will get this one darker. I don't know why. But you can see it goes on, it's pigmented. Very nicely pigmented. Now, what I was telling you, I have not plucked my brows or anything like that. Age can cause your brows to act up. Uh, illness can cause your brows to act up. And also, stress can cause your brows to act up. Yeah. Which, I think, in lieu of the last year and a half of my life, I would say mine is stress-related. Hopefully, they will come back. I'm using a brow serum and a lash serum, so hopefully they will come back. And then I don't want to do anything, but maybe do a little bit of mess, uh, brow mascara just to give them a little more color or something. Let's see? That's all I'm going to do with that. Okay, so what's next? Okay, and I found out after the fact, it took about a month for me to get this stuff from Poland, but I found out after the fact, you can go to Amazon, they've got all kinds of stuff like this. <laughs> yeah, always check Amazon first, for goodness sake. Okay, so now what? Oh, I am going to... I'm going to use this new eyeliner here. I'm going to put it on first, and I'm just going to use little short strokes. This is a Fabrilique liner. <coughs> this is a liquid liner, which I have I struggle with. Right in here is where I have trouble. Right in there, it wants to bleed. I just touched it for no cotton bean reason. And see, I'm heavy-handed here, and look how thick I made that one. Dang it. I prefer thinner, but I make a mess, so you go back and you make the other one thicker, right? Whatever. I'm also, I think that's all I'm going to do. Hopefully that will not bleed. Mm. Hello, hello, hello. Now, oh, I was going to show you. I don't see it bleeding. <laughs> if it doesn't bleed, it will be the first one that doesn't bleed. Okay, I was going to show you. Where is it? Uh, lining your tear line. I'll show you the difference. Totally just a fun thing to do. It's not totally necessary. Wait a minute. I didn't take my allergy medicine today. Ugh. I'm going to do just one eye so you can see the difference of what lining your mm -hmm. tear line with a lighter liner. They say it makes your eyes look bigger. So, did it open it up? It does a little, don't you think? Easy peasy. Alrighty. Now I'm gonna use 
do was I gonna I, was I gonna do I have some beautiful tra uh, transient lashes these are everyday lashes they're called but they're beautiful see see there see that aren't they pretty I like that but I think I'll just do mascara today so this is a Fabrilic Lash Boost and we're going to just put a little bit of this on you know, I've seen this stuff before, but it's been a long time, so I, you know, I thought, well, that's gone bye-bye, but here it is. I'm so messy, 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 messy with my mascara. Also, I'll show you a product I have started using. I'll let you know how that goes. I'll put this on at night. It's a lash uh, serum, lash and brow serum. It's full of good, healthy things for your eyelashes and your brows. Mm -hmm. So we just started using that. Here is a brand new, you know what I'm gonna do first before I do my mascara? So I'm gonna set my mess. I'm gonna set my mascara. I'm gonna set my stuff with my Oxyology setting spray, and it's actually called. Show you. Active restorative face spray. So we're gonna do it before I do the mascara on the eyes. And it smells wonderful. Mmm. Mmm. Can't tell you what that smells like, but and it's not strong and gaggy. It is beautiful. Okay, so we'll let it dry a little. Now, this is a new mascara I got, Fabrique. This one is called. I have two Fabrique mascaras right now. I don't have any Transcend mascara, but Fabrique. This is called Long and Strong. Uh, I think this is a, a builder type thing. And then my other one from them is the Click. Click and go. This is cool. I like this one. You just, boom, like that. And that opens it. And then you just shut it like that. So I thought it was cool. But this one I just got. So we're going to check it out. My glasses are so dirty. Last thing I'm going to do is, I like to do this, I don't know if it's the uh, most sanitary thing to do, but I would rather have very little on my brush when I'm doing my lower lashes. So, and I love this brush, and you're going to watch me get mascara everywhere. I've already done it. Already. Fabrique has got tons of mascara to choose from, something for everybody. I like this brush. It's thin, and it seems to grab the hairs, and it, like, separates as you go. Um, I'm sure it would be perfect for building, you know, like, building up, like, using two or three coats. I am a, since I finally learned how, I am a false lash wearer so I don't use a lot of mascara um, anymore um, it hasn't bled in, oh, it hasn't bled yet how about that it's the first one so the first thing you want to do with mascara is wiggle 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 that gives you your volume. Yeah, I got say I'm going to get it everywhere. Just can't help it. And then I'm just going to bring it on out. Now, you can wake. If you get it everywhere, you can definitely wait till it dries and get it off. Or you can do it while it's still wet. 
I usually don't have patience, so. Yeah, so that was like one coat. This is probably the best mascara so far, for me anyway. Um, you want to do your volume first and the, you know, the thickness of it first, and then go back and do the length. And, you know, there's, there's pros and cons. Mascara versus uh, fake lashes. With fake lashes, you definitely have to learn how to do the glue, how to place them, but once you practice enough and you learn how, it's just usually zip zip. But, you know, and mascara, you don't have to mess with glue, but the pro about lashes is you don't have to mess with mascara. <laughs> So, it's all a matter of what you want to do, right? That's what it's all about anyway. Uh, when I do lashes, fake lashes, I still use a little bit of mascara. I usually just use it underneath because if you noticed when I did my primer, I did set the primer with some powder. So, I want my natural lash to uh, blend in with that fake lash. I don't want to have a different color. That would look funny. Now I'm just trying to do the tips. And I think that's perfectly good enough to go to the garbage can and wash out my garbage. My garbage cans. <laughs> Wish somebody would come do that for me. So that was called Strong, what did I say it was? Something Strong and Bold or something like that. Fabrilique Mascara. Long and Strong. That was close. Long and Strong. Okay, so now we've got lipstick. I've got several new lipsticks. Uh, and that's what I was saying about lipstick. You can get these little samples. Here are some samples that I've got, and I'll show you what they're like. Anywhere from 59 cents to 90 cents, depends on what you get. Uh, the perfume samples are, of course, you know, like this in this little bottle. And your lipstick samples are, you know, like that. But sometimes you can't really tell looking at your lipstick, especially lipstick. Because a lot of times it, you, it's, you can't really tell by looking at pictures, right? And all my samples are very similar. Look at that. They're all pretty similar. This one looks like it has a little more color. But then I've also got some tube lips. I mean, tubes of lipstick. Very creamy. Then let's see what my whole tubes look like. I got two. Uh, one, one is really cool. I'll show you. It's this one. It has pictures of little lips on the lipstick. I'm not going to even want to mess it up. Can you see the lips? See the little lips right there? And it's kind of a nudish color, don't you think? Nude, sort of, but has a little pink tone to it. But watch very cool magnet did you see that that's cool okay that's one and this one is let me sh let me see I mean, I'm, like I, I'm new to all this so I can't really tell what color is what this is called velvet kiss semi matte lipstick and the number they've got on it is 40577 that's this one 40577 then the next one is one that is called Kiss Proof Long Lasting Matte Lipstick. I should take this off and put this on and just test to see how long it does last, right? This one is number 40947. So why don't we get my um, get this off.
Whoa. It's going to be long lasting too, it looks like. Okay. Okay, this is the long lasting one, so we'll just kind of see how long does this really last. Different kind of little tube, kiss proof, vibrant matte finish. Okie doke. This one is a little more color. Probably right up my alley here, so let's see. This is going to be one I'm going to stick in my purse, I think. Mmm. <gasps> That's creamy. Yay. <laughs> I have two drawers of drawers of lipstick for crying out loud that I can never find just the right one. But this one is number what did I tell you it was number 40947. Kiss proof. Let's see if it's magnet. Is it magnet? No, this one's not magnet. Okay, then if you don't like now this is not dry. Doesn't feel dry at all. But you know, most matte lipsticks are dry feeling, right? So this is not dry, but if you like to put uh, something over a matte, realize that if you do that, you're going to lose a lot of the longevity of it. So we'll see anyway. I like a shiny lip. I like. Uh, I'll show you what I'm going to put on here. This is also Faberly Glam Team Lip Gloss. Uh, this one is... Oh, I can barely read it. I can't even read it. It's a peach color, though. Where's the color at? I don't see the color anywhere. It's pretty, though. Watch. Isn't that pretty? I think peach looks really good with greens, don't you? There you go. I am all done. Thank you so much for coming and replaying is good. I replay most of the time anyway, but I want to thank you for coming. This is a Fabrileek and a Transcend Face. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in comments. I will put the links in there, both my links. I'll do that right now before I forget. Let's do the Transcend with the, this one right here. And then my Fabrileek one is coming right up. Ooh, your lips feel good. Mmm, Fabrileek. Now, if you have any questions whatsoever about joining, they're both fabulous com companies. Transcend especially is no stress. No stress whatsoever. Okay? I love you guys. Thank you so much for coming. Again, Marsha Holland, Glam Memo. I'll talk to you guys later. Happy Sunday. Bye.